watching KITV4 News this morning. Welcome back. It is 610. If you're just joining us, we've been following breaking news all morning long on an officer-involved shooting in Waikiki on Ulawai Boulevard. Let's go back to KITV4's Ryan Kale Suji, who's live now with the latest. Ryan, what can you tell us? Hey, good morning, Mahia. That's right. We are here on Alawai Boulevard, where, as you can see behind me, police are continuing their investigation. And we're joined this morning by Chris Dickerson uh, from California, who's actually visiting, and she uh, heard everything that happened this morning. Chris, could you explain uh, what you heard this morning? Yes. It was um, about 4 in the morning, and I'm awake because I'm on mainland time. And I heard noise. Um, it sounded like tires screeching and some, a car hitting another car. And I went on, onto my balcony at the Coconut Best Western, and I saw um, a black or dark brown or dark blue truck coming down the street being followed by police cars. And that truck hit into some other cars or cars along the Alawai, and I saw the truck being surrounded by police cars coming from all directions. Um, and the truck continued to uh, go forward and backward and forward and backward, hitting into the police cars repeatedly, even though it was being fully surrounded. <clears throat> and then I saw officers get out of the car they were yelling at the truck driver um, with guns drawn and the truck continued to uh, hit into the police cars and then I heard shots and the truck stopped and did you see uh, the man in the vehicle his condition we, we were being told that he's in extremely critical condition did you see him when he was pulled from the vehicle at all um, I, I did see that the emergency vehicles the ambulance came um, with a uh, the stretcher and got someone out of the vehicle. The, uh, there did not appear to be any movement it, um, of the person and there wasn't a lot of fussing around at the truck scene. It was more that there, they removed something and it was covered and then they went uh, toward the ambulance. About how many gunshots uh, could you say that you, you heard this morning? Because we're hearing a, a wider range of, of accounts. What did you hear? Um, I didn't count, but I, I, heard a, I heard what I would believe to be five to seven gunshots. It was a pop, 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 pop. Okay. And uh, we were also being told that there was an officer that sustained some injuries. Did you see any officer that was injured during this pursuit? Um, I, I feared that the officers in the cars could have been injured, and I don't know if that's how an officer might have been injured, but it, um, that would certainly, it, the truck was hitting into their cars vigorously, and my mind was saying, oh my gosh, these guys could be getting seriously injured. Well, Chris, thank you so much uh, for taking time to uh, share your accounts this morning. Uh, but again, Mahail, police remain on the scene here trying to piece together what exactly happened. We'll continue to try and work to get more information and bring that to you as it becomes available. Back to you. Ryan, thank you for that live report, a very compelling interview with that witness there. Now, we do know that the scene is on Alawai Boulevard between Lures and Seaside. Cam has been monitoring the traffic in the area and our wider view of traffic. Cam, what can you see?